Hi there everybody. Um, today we're doing an unboxing from Oraloa and as you might be able to tell it is not diamond painted but it is craft related and as you guys might know um, Oraloa recently started doing uh, puzzles and cross stitch and pixel hobby, pixel art. So I like the pixel art. If you saw I did one from Harshner's a while ago uh, last year and I really really enjoyed it so I was super excited to see that Oraloa is doing that now and then I recently got back into cross stitch so I wanted to try out their cross stitch as well and then this little bag here is a gift bag so let's start with that let's start with the gift bag alright so this little gift bag if I can open it <laughs> Let's see what we got in here. It looks like it's a whole bunch of stickers. Oh, and a pin, which let me tell you, I love pins. So I like pins and stickers. Oh my goodness, I can't get this out of here. Here we go. Okay, so first off, the bag was was broken on the pins, but that's okay. So we've got a nice. Let me zoom in some got a nice pin of their um, tiki uh, mascot and it's got um, a double pin on it which comes out nice and nice and sharp very nice very nice pin pretty pretty decent uh, weight to it then this is this looks like just a cutout, a plastic cutout. It's not a sticker. It just looks like a plastic cutout, which is really cute of their, their brand there. And then we've got some stickers. So welcome to Oraloa, United States of America. That's very cool. Um, greetings from Oraloa. Very, very cool. Aloha with Oraloa, their um, their uh, hula girl. And then this probably was supposed to be. Maybe this was supposed to be. Maybe it was supposed to be a pin, and the pin part didn't come out. But that's okay, because this is a thank you card, and it's got their information on there. If you can kind of see that information it's another cool sticker welcome to Orlo with their hula girl and then here's a couple of their collector cards so this one's number 22 it says Orlo designs friends of the Orient super cute there it probably goes that way Super cute. And then this is number 25, and it's um, Gail Picard Cupcake. So this must be cards of the diamond paintings that they have available from their um, designers. So that's cool. And then a treasure card. So let's see what the treasure is. Do I have something to scrape this off with? Let's see. I could probably use the back of this. So this here... Aloha treasure it says it says here scratch me if you have three tikis you win a, a kit of your choice is what it says so let's go ahead and you're looking for three of these okay so let's see what I've got here Nope, I only got two. But you know what, though? I think that's a super fun idea. Let me get this off so it's not like on my. So, as you can see there, I only have two of them. But that's okay because this is a really fun idea. I like this. I like this a lot. So, I'm going to go ahead and stick all of these back in here. 
so that I don't lose them. And I have a sticker book that I wind up putting all these stickers in. Um, actually, I think I need to get another one. Because I have, my husband got me a whole bunch of llama stickers too. And I have to put those in the book as well. I'm going to leave the pin out because it messed up this one little bag. So I'm going to leave the pin out. Really, really cool pin. Let's move that to the side. So let's first get into the cross stitch. And I have got no space over here, so put that on the floor. So this cross stitch here, let me zoom back out. This cross stitch here is a stamped cross stitch kit. And it is their, um, what is it? I guess their Orloa Love Island by Julie Cor Corchesny, Corchesny, I know I don't have a lot of light there, but Corchesny, and this is a 45 by, uh, 45 by 45 or a 17.71 by 17.71 inch, and it's a 14 count Ada, and um, it says it's got everything that you need, pre-printed fabric and dispen dispendable chart reading, uh, cotton fabric, cotton thread, needle, and instructions, okay? And then the back here, it shows you um, how do you choose your thread color, just basic instructions, no, no outside frame, keep your hands clean before stitching, you know, that kind of stuff. Cleaning and maintenance after you're done, finished, you know, put it in water, you know, all that good stuff. So it gives you a nice description on the back side of what you're doing. Let's see, it's the easiest way of getting this stuff out. As it's all, they make these Ziploc bags very, um, they don't use a lot of excess, so getting them out sometimes can be difficult. I don't think there's anything else in there, which is nice. Okay, so first things first, let's look at our book here. And it feels like it's a, that's a neat, it's like, I don't know, it's glossy, but like not slippery glossy if that makes sense so put that aside so we've got here we've got your full stitch so it looks like you've got 66 colors on your full uh, for your stitches it does have the DMC's and the symbols 66 colors um, it's got three back stitches there and it's nice because it shows you on this side it shows you your number with the color number um, and symbol with the color but then on the printed this is your printed legend so it shows you um, what it looks like on the on the um, canvas so to speak right so when you're looking at this it's a it's a book in book form so when you're looking at this you've got we'll take this for instance right so this is all number eight in here so if I look at number eight here it's 310 it's 310 and then it says 310 over here. So on my canvas, it's gonna be this orange block. So on here, on here, it's, I know that I don't have it zoomed in. So on here, or zoomed out, you have your black letter eight there, symbol eight. And then over here, you've got eight, right there which is 310 and then if you go over where your canvas is it's gonna look like that on your canvas for 310 right so you could follow this or you could follow the canvas depending on which way you want to go okay all oh, these colors are gorgeous so give me a minute we're gonna look at the colors in a minute for right now we're gonna look at the canvas 
What's the easiest way of getting this off of here? Probably this way, folding it like that. There we go. And, all right, so, so this is what, where is it at? Is it this way? No, it's this way, okay. So I'm gonna zoom back out. You can't really see the whole thing, but this is what your canvas looks like. So we were talking about the orange. So like all of this would be black in here, right? All of that would be black. You got lots of black all over the place, right? But you can see here's your, this is your VW bug here and your surfboard there. And then all of your greenery around. Um, the canvas feels good. It's not too stiff for a printed canvas. Um, you also have along the edges here on both sides or on the bottom and the right side, you have all of your symbols there, all 66 colors. So it looks pretty good. Zoom in real quick so you can see the canvas a little bit better. All looks pretty good to me. Very, very cool. Very pretty. So I'm going to zoom back out. Because I know some of you guys don't aren't interested in cross stitch, but I just figured because Orlo is such a great company that it would be good to showcase and check out all of their stuff. So here's our colors. Do you see this color palette? This is amazing. And you've got more on the other side. So you can see all your dark blues. You've got white. Um, you've got your black in here. Um, it looks like they, you know, had kind of did some stuff here where they had to rewrite on the label. You got your two needles up here, but you've got quite a bit of palettes here. So the way that they've got this, they've got them all stapled together, but there's three, there's three cards here. So if I unstaple wall. I unstable them. Hopefully I can do this without hurting myself. I don't have a, um, what do you call it? A staple puller thing. You know what I'm talking about? One of those things. I don't know if I can get this out. Let me see. Cause I want to show you all the, all three of them. So I hope everybody's doing good. I might as well say that while I'm doing this. Um, yeah, I hope that everybody's doing well and um, having a good day if you're watching this during the day. <laughs> Get rid of my staple there. So this is, you got two nice needles in here. I'm going to set that aside. So this is your first, this is your first color palette here. So it looks like they did one through 66, but then they added more over there, probably because of the back stitch. I'm gonna assume, what was my back stitch colors? Oh, I don't have it on this, I have it on the other one. Um, yeah, so you've got number three, number eight, and number 65 all used for back stitch. So they gave you two more eights here and another 52 it looks like because you do have 52 down here. So this is probably extra for you So this is the first color palette very 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 pretty Okay, That's number one. That's I Always have trouble with these like I'm gonna mess them up <laughs> So I probably won't but you know how it is and then here's our second one. So you can see these have, I know it's a little bit hard to see, but these have some greens and blues again, green, blue, grays, a, one strand of a pink in there, um, browns, beautiful colors again, like I said. And then your last color palette here, which is yellows, browns, more black, some purple, pink, like a rose color, and grays. 
super, super pretty colors. Yep. I'm, I'm excited to do this. Now, honestly, I'm not going to get to it right away. I'm, I don't cross stitch as much as I'd like to, but, um, when the weather gets better, this is a good craft for me to take out into, um, my backyard and watch movies on our projector and sit and do this because it's not something that, um, is going to take up a lot of space, you know? So just trying to get these in here so that I can roll this all back up and get it out of your way so that we can look at the other beautiful item that I got from Oraloa. So for right now, that was kind of dumb of me, but we're gonna fold this like this and this like this. And hopefully I can get everything in there with no problem. Yeah, so I think that's gonna be a really cool picture. I think it's gonna look really nice when it's done. So I'm excited about that one. Um, I really like Orloa. That's why I spent the money to try their different products. Um, if you don't, you know, if you're not into this stuff, you know, you don't have to buy it, but I like all different kinds of crafts. So for me, um, trying out what a company that I really enjoy has to offer um, is makes makes sense to me for what I what I like, right? But again, like I said, you don't have to, but I wanted to share with you um, in case you're interested. Uh, some of the new stuff. Now I don't do puzzles, um, so that's why I didn't buy any puzzles, but um, my mom does puzzles, and so I was thinking about maybe buying one for her, but we'll see. Um, yeah, we'll see. So let's set that aside, and now we're gonna go into the Pixel Hobby. So the Pixel Hobby, the picture that I got is this. So it's like, it's a, a drink here, with some fruit in it and a lemon slice in here and you've got a lady kind of sunbathing on the lemon slice with an umbrella there. So I thought that was a super cute picture. I don't think it's that big. Um, I don't think it says it on here how big it is. It doesn't. So let's get this out. It's a, Oh, it's a four um, plate. Kind of like that, the one that I showed you guys that I did um, a while ago, last year, which was, um, why can't I get this out? Which was a winter scene that I really enjoyed doing. And I saved my extras from that in case I needed any extras for, because I planned on getting some more pixels. So I'm excited about this. So it comes in this great box which is nice. And then this is all of your papers. So this here has all of your pattern on it. And I'm going to show you, I'm not going to work on any of it, I don't think, but I'm going to show you at least what, like it, it, basically what you do with it. So this is how, this is one of all four of your panels. So you're looking at, oh my gosh, such a big box but it's this small. So these are four. So you're gonna have one, two, three, and four. So it basically comes out to an eight by 10 picture, right? It doesn't come, it's not that big. Um, the reason that the box and the packaging is so big is because of the way that the, um, the pixels are. So the pixels, if you guys um, did not see my last one, my Christmas one, the pixels are a, they're kind of like, to me, they remind me of Legos, right? So you have these grids, and I'm going to zoom in for when I get this open so that you can see what I'm talking about. So you have these grids, let's zoom in here. You have these grids, and they have these arrows on it. So you see there's an arrow showing upwards, right? The arrow. I'm gonna move all of these out of the way so you can see a little bit better. Well, maybe you can't. Let me get 
white background so you can see better, maybe. So there's an arrow on it. And so that means that when you put your, when you put this down with your picture below it, this is going, this side up here is going to be your top side. Now this side is flat here, but this side has pegs, right? So it's, you can kind of see it here. So all of these are pegs. You can kind of hear me. They're pegs. And that's why I say they kind of remind me of Legos because they're pegs. Okay. And then these four go like this, right? You have two that go, I know you can't see, but you have two that go together left, right, and then, and then two on the bottom. So you'll have a grid of one, two, one, two, three, and four that make the whole picture. So I'm going to zoom back out just a little bit and I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to open up this packet. Now this packet here is your your picture, right? Your pattern. So you take this out. Take this out like so. And this here, I'm trying to make more room. So this here tells you um, the number of base plates, which is four, the number of pixel squares, 97 pieces, and the number of colors, 68, right? So what that means is that there's 68 colors. The 97 pieces, I think, means the grids that you can pull all of your things out. So when you're looking at this, this is how many of your pixels that you should have. So this one's empty, so they all fill up in this little in this one. So when I open this up, this is all my colors. So when you look at this, so 100 I should have 5. So starting from the from the left side should be number 100. And it tells you on the back right there, it tells you that this is number 100. So I should have five of these, right? So when I look in here, well, I'm going to put that in there and show you over here. So when I look in here, I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five of them, right? So that's where this paper comes into play because this paper here tells you how many of those that you'll have. And you should have 97 of them, which is 68 colors. Okay, so on your first page, after you do your inventory, this is what your first page looks like. And this is what all of your pages look like. So you have, this is telling you up here, this is telling you you're working on your first tile because this, this here, this plastic piece is one tile and there's four of them as you can see here. So you'll go one, two, three, four, probably, or one, two, three, four, depending on the way this goes. But you always have your arrow, and I know it's hard to see because it's clear, but you have your arrow pointing up, and then you turn it so that the nubbies are facing upwards. And you put this down, like so, on your piece of paper. So now I've got my plastic here, and what I would do is take number 100. I'll do a couple just so that you can see what I'm talking about. And these, um, these are real easy to take off. You just want to take some tweezers and you just pull one off and you're doing 100. So all of this, all of this here, these black squares, I know it's going to it's going to reflect weird because of there we go. Yeah, it's not going to show you. I got to zoom out because it's not going to show you. Um, but all of this black squares underneath here is all number 1. So all I'm doing is I'm lining this up and then I put this on the peg 
And like I said, I know you guys can't see, but let me do a couple and then I'll pull this off so that you can see it real quick. And you just take your tweezers and you put it in there. Some people use a thimble and what they do is they put it there like so and then they push it down with their finger, right? If they have a thimble on it, I, I'll do it with my finger too sometimes, but it does start to hurt after a while if you're not careful. So that's why some people use a thimble. So I'm just taking this and I'm putting these, they fit on one peg. It's not like, um, it's not like Legos in the sense where you're taking up two tile or two pegs for one. Um, it's just one peg for one. And you put this in here like so. And I'm gonna stop right after this next one. And I will show you what I've done. So, so far on this, I've used eight pieces, if you can see. I've used eight pieces off of my tile, my grid, color grid. So I'm gonna put that away so that I don't lose it. And then I'm gonna show you. So there's my eight pieces. So it doesn't look like anything right now because it's clear in the background. But when you're done, all of these will be white here, 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 here. And then when you're when you're done with this one, so you put this one here, and I know there's a glare, but you put this one here, you do only the ones that have symbols on it, then you move it over to your second picture. And then your second picture has, sorry, your second picture has um, ones that you, you do that are different from this. And they did it this way so that you aren't, um, you're only working at on four colors at a time. So there's only four colors on this one. There's only four colors on this one. And so the symbols that you use are the same over and over again. So if I zoom back in real quick here. So on this one, for this first tile, the first four that I'm putting down are these colors here. And these are the symbols, so X, zero, or square, zero, X, and triangle, right? And I use those four colors, and I complete all of this there. Then I move it over to this square, and see it's using the same symbols again, but it's different colors. And when you look at it, it's in different positions. So when you're looking at this one, you're filling in this spot, and then when you go over to this one, these are in different areas. So when you go to overlap from this one to this one, all of these colors will already be on there. And then you're filling in more colors this way. And you keep going. You keep going until you uh, until you finish all of number one. So it's usually a few pages, more than a few, of number one. And then you you're done, you'll be done with this entire plate. Then you pull out your second plate and you start all over again. And the cool thing about this is it always, when you're looking at these colors, the way that they do it from the first picture to the to fill out the entire thing, they always start from left to right. So you're working, you're doing all of your white first, right? All of your number 100. Then you're doing all of this pink. Then you're doing this blue, then you're doing this blue, then this green, then this purple, then this red, and you do them all in this order. So as long as you keep all of your colors in this box, in this order, you're literally just going from left to right all on one plate, from left to right on the second plate, left to right on the third, and left to right on the fourth, and then you're done. Really, really simple. Um, and again, this is, you can see what it looks like when it's on there. And they do stick out, so like, you can see this here, and then if I turn it sideways, you can see that they're sticking out. And they're like a rubber. They're really nice, and they don't weigh that much when they're done. Um, this little thing here, these things here, are connectors, so on the back side, here, you're not really going to be able to see it, but there's little cutouts right here 
So one of these fits on this one here, and then the other plate hooks together. Now, um, they do say that you should tape them. Once you use your connectors, you should put some clear tape to help um, keep them together better. But um, they're, they're really cool. I really, really like them. I don't have my other one out so that I can show you it. I wish I did, but I don't. I think it's in my closet. But um, I'll keep you updated on this one and show you this one when it's done. But for now, we're going to put this back so that I can show you the front picture again when I get this one done. When I get it all back in the box, so to speak. I'm going to... I like to keep my plastic in the bag here so that I don't get them messed up. So these go in here. This one I'm just going to sit. They give you a huge box for these. Um, I mean, probably because they do have all these different sizes, like this one here is only a four tile, but they do have ones that are a lot of tiles. I forget, I forget how many, but there are, oh, that stuck my whole box. They do have some that, um, I think you can get them up to like 10 tiles, but I could be wrong. I think at least eight, if not, if not 10. So, and it's a really nice box to keep them all in. So where's, cover. So here's the cover. So I'm going to put this back on here so that everything's kept together. Eh, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Here we go. I think I got it. I think I got it. There you go. So this is what the picture is as I zoom back out. Again, it's a drink with a, a woman sunbathing on the orange slice, the little umbe umbrella there. This hand won't be there. <laughs> this is the picture here. So you can kind of see that's what that picture is. So yeah, that's gonna look really cool, I think, when it's done. Yep. So that's what I got for you guys here. You've got, you've got, um, two new things from Oraloa and again like I said I really love this company and that's why I wanted to buy some of their other stuff and try it out so if you're interested I will keep you guys updated and let you know how these go definitely with this one this one is going to be some time before I get it done because it's big and I cross stitch very slow so that's what we got so far for these and yeah, I hope you like this. Let me know if you guys plan on buying any of their stuff, their other stuff besides diamond painting. And yeah, tell me how you like it. Okay, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so and hit that like button down there. Also, um, leave me a comment because I really, really love that. And hit the bell if you want to get notified when my next video goes up. Okay, so... Until the next one, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.